Hello and welcome to this exercise on key sequences and IGCSE A level type uh, question for algebra. And it says um, the, the three figures, sorry, the three figures represent three towers. I've only shown two here. The three figures represent three towers constructed with cubes. Now some of the cubes are hidden. Uh, it then goes to say uh, figure one has one cube, y figure two has six cubes. You can see that uh, figure two has five cubes at the bottom layer and one on top, making it six. It then says, using your previous knowledge of the quadratic expression for the number of cubes in the bottom layers, fill in the table below and find it and find the sequence for the total number of cubes in figure N. Now here's the table. Uh, over here I, it is, is the video I've done previously to find the, to find or how to find the number of cubes in the bottom layer of the n figure okay so it's going to be 2n squared minus 2n plus 1 that's how to find the number of cubes in the bottom layer of the n figure there and here is figure 3 and then i've also included figure 4 just to help out there okay now for the next slide now this is our table again and we know or we've been informed that the total number of cubes in figure one is one, the total number of cubes in figure two is six. That much we know. Now we need to find the total number of cubes in figures three, four, five, six, and n, so to speak. So the the way to do this is we look at the uh, from our previous video. Uh, the for instance for figure three, we want to find the total number total number of cubes in figure three. What we need to do is to find the total number of cubes at the bottom layer of figure 3 and that will be 2 times 3 squared minus 2 times 3 plus 1 and then add the total number of cubes in figure 2 so 2 times 3 squared, 3 squared is 9, 9 times 2 is 18 minus 6 plus 1 give us 13 and 13 plus 6 will give us 19 so that's for the total number of cubes in figure 3 is 19. And the way to do that is for figure n, you find the total number of cubes in the bottom layer of figure n, which is 2n squared minus 2n plus 1. And then you add the total number of cubes in figure n minus 1. So we can now fill in our gaps now. So for figure 3, we've got 19 cubes. For figure 4, we've got uh, 44 cubes. For figure 5, we've got uh, 85 cubes, and for figure 6, we got 146 cubes there. Okay, now if we then display our sequence again, we've got 1, 6, 9, 44, 85, and 146. Okay, now the difference between the number of total number of cubes in the first and second towers is 6 minus 1 and that's 5. Similarly, the difference between the second and third towers is 19 minus 6 and that's 13. The difference between the fourth and third towers will be 44 minus 19 and that's 25. The difference between the fifth and fourth towers is 85 minus 144, sorry, 85 minus 44 and that's 21, sorry, that's 41. And the difference between the sixth and the fifth towers is 146 minus 85, and we end up with 61. Now, clearly, for the first line of difference, the numbers are different, so it's not linear. So it can be quadratic or cubic. Okay, now for the next, uh, for the second line of, line of difference, we have that, uh, 13 minus 5 will give us 8. Uh, 25 minus 13 will give us uh, six, sorry, will give us 12. And 41 minus 25 will give us uh, 16. And 61 minus 21 will give us 20. Again, that's not constant. So it can be cubic at the very least. Right, now for the third line of difference, we've got 12 minus 8, and that's 4, and 
and 16 minus 12 and that's 4 and 20 minus 16 and that's 4 again. So the third line of difference is constant, therefore this must be a cubic sequence. And the to find the cubic sequence, we do total number for figure n is a n cubed plus b n squared plus c n plus d. Okay, so now for the cubic sequence, we can obtain a by saying six a is equal to four. Four being the constant term at the third line of difference, but this cubic, the third line of difference is four. So a is two over three. So now t sub n then becomes two over two n cubed over three plus b n squared plus c n plus d. So we know, we know what a is now. We need to find what b, c, and d are. Right. So when n is one, say we've got two over three plus b plus c plus d because b n squared one n one squared is one and c times c times one is one plus d that's equal to one. If we now multiply every term by three. We end up with 2 plus 3b plus 3c plus 3b is equal to 3. If we then subtract 2 from both sides, we end up with 3b plus 3c plus 3b is equal to 1. That's, that's our equation 1. Now, to get equation 2, let's say when n is 2, we then have that 2 thirds times 2 cubed. Now, 2 cubed is 8. And then b times 2 squared plus c times 2 plus d is equal to 6 because we've got 6 cubes in figure 2. Okay, so now if we then do um, simplify, that now becomes 16 over 3 because 2 cubed is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. 16 over 3 plus 4b plus 2c plus d is equal to 6. If we then multiply every term by 3, we end up with 16 plus 12b plus 6c plus 3b is equal to 18, because 3 times, three times 6 is 18. If we then subtract 16 from both sides, we end up with 12b plus 6c plus 3b is equal to 2. And that is our equation 2. Now, similar exercise or similar procedure or similar process for equation 3. Now, when n is 3, we end up with 2 times 3 cubed plus b times 3 squared plus c times 3 plus d is equal to 19 because we've got 19 cubes in uh, tar number 3 or figure 3. Again, multiply every term by 3 and then we get 54 plus 27b plus 9c plus 3d and then subtract 54 from both sides we end up with 27b plus 9c plus 3d is equal to 3 and that's our uh, equation 3. We then subtract equation 1 from equation 2 or equation 2 minus equation 1. We end up with 9b plus 3 is equal to 1 because for equation 2, 12b minus 3b in equation 1 will give us 9b. 6c in equation 2 minus 3c in equation 1 will give us 3c. 3d in equation 2 minus 3d in equation 1 will give us 0. And 2 minus 1 will give us 1. So equation 1 is so equation 4 is now 9b plus 3 is equal to 1. Similarly, we need to find um, we need to do equation 4 uh, minus sorry, we need to do equation 3 minus equation 2. So that is from here, equation 3 minus equation there and we end up with equation 5 and equation 5 will give us 15b plus 3c is equal to 1 that's equation 5 if we now subtract equation 4 from equation 5 so equation 5 minus equation 4 we then get 6b is equal to 0 because 3c minus 3 is equal to 0 1 minus 1 is 0 so b is 0 if we then substitute b is equal to 0 in equation 4, which is this one here, 9b will be 0, so 3c is equal to 1, so c is 1 over 3, so c is 1 over 3. Now to find d, 
If we now substitute b is equal to 0 and c is equal to 1 third into equation 1, which is this one here, 3 times b is 0 because b is 0, 3 times c is 3 times 1 over 3, which is 1, and then 3d. So we don't have this one here. 0 plus 1 plus 3d is equal to 1. So subtract 1 from both sides, we end up with 0. So 3d is equal to 0, so d is equal to 0. So now, the total number of cubes in figure n, we can get from here. So t sub n is equal to 2 times n cubed over 3 plus n over 3, because b and d are both 0. If we then factorize, we end up with n over 3 into 2n squared plus 1, and that is the formula for this cubic sequence here. Now let's check. For figure 1, where n is 1, n over 3 plus 1 over 3 is 1 third. Now 2 times 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 times 1 third is 1, and that's checked. Now let's try for figure 2, where n is 2. Now 2 over, n over, sorry, n over 3 is 2 over 3. Now 2n squared, n squared is 2, Four, sorry, n squared is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9, and 9 times 2 is 18, 18 divided by 3 is 6. So that's checked for equation for figure 2 as well. For figure 3, where, for figure three, where n is 3, now 3 over 3 is 1, now 3 squared is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 18 plus 1 is 19, and 19 times 1 is 1. So that's checked. Now, can you try equation 4, sorry, try figure 4, or try when n is 4, and when n is 5, and when n is 6. Uh, you find that should be okay. Now, I hope all that made some sense, and thank you for watching. Uh, please, please subscribe. Bye-bye now.